All right, so the second piece here is explaining these circle theorems. Um, we looked at them in class. Uh, what I tried to get you to look at was um, these lines here looking like mouths eating the same thing. So in this circle theorem here, this looks like a mouth with teeth here and teeth here. Uh, I'll make this a different color. So this is one color here. So that's one mouth. And in this theorem, uh, the second mouth is attached to the center of the circle. Okay, so that's this theorem. And this theorem says that if you have an angle, okay, 60 degrees, when the same angle is being eaten at the same two points, so this point here and this point here, right here and here, from an angle in the middle, this angle is twice as big as this one here. Okay, so if this is x here, this angle is twice as big as that, 2x. Okay, so you have to know this theorem. The next theorem here is uh, similar, where you have two mouths, so I have the green mouth with teeth, and then I have the red mouth with teeth, okay, except for instead of being anchored at the middle, into the middle of the circle, you have this anchored at this point here, this two, these two lines anchored at this point here, and they each create an angle, and as long as they're eating the same two points here, so the green hits these two points and the red hits these two points, these are the two same angles here, 32 degrees and 30 degrees, 32 degrees. And then finally, uh, when we come to this last circle theorem, it just says if you run a line straight through the middle of a circle, hitting the center point, so this thing here is called the diameter, right? So the diameter. Uh, and we draw a line off these anchor points, these two points on the edge of the circle, to another point in the semicircle. So this is a half a circle here, a semicircle. It creates a 90 degree angle here, okay? So these three here we have. So double the angle here off the center, same angle if you're eating the two points and of course finally this one here where you create a 90 degree angle from the diameter okay so let's try and apply these problems and remember we're still going to use some of the tricks from the video before uh, we might have to use them so let's take a look at this first one here all right so um, this one's straightforward we have this here mouth, oops, let's try this again. We have this mouth here, okay, and then that's eating the exact same points as this mouth from the center. So this is an exact 